Hello, I'm David from IT Solutions Network and today we are going to talk about connecting two computers to each other. So you can use one computer when you are remote on a remote location to connect to your work computer. You have a computer and then you have another, let's say, laptop. This is your laptop and you're connecting through your mobile device through Verizon or anything like that and you want to connect to your office computer which is connected to the internet the one way to do this incorrectly I would say is to open the port and do port forwarding on the router here so anything that goes to the router IP on a specific port that traffic goes to the computer that's not safe not good. Anyone can access this port and flood your computer or try to hack it. Now, the proper way to do that would be to install some kind of VPN between your router and your computer. This can be some hardware device, some hardware VPN server, for example, the firewall or anything like that, and then build the VPN. But what if you don't have this expensive device? What if you don't have these routers that with the VPN capabilities? Or you are moving this computer pretty often from location to location. First you are in New York, then you are in Jersey. Maybe this is even a laptop, not, not a workstation that is always on. Anyway, we have a solution for that. There's this software that you can install on both computers, which will add the additional network interface card to both computers. And this network interface card will be connected to each other virtually. So for the computers, these both computers are on the same broadcast domain, on the same, I would say, network. So let's say we install the software here, the zero tier, and we install the software here. And then from this network interface card, we have the connection directly. Then you can access this computer from your laptop and you don't need to do any fancy hardware replacement here on this device. We don't care what device this is. We don't even care if the computer has the same IP or are connected to the same router. The main requirement is the computer is supposed to have the internet, both, both computers. Now let's let's install this software on our computers. First, we need to register the account. In my case, I already registered this account. So I just need to log in. But if you want to register, it's the same process as any other website. You put your name, last name, email address, password, and hit register. Now I already registered, so let me log into this website. So I use Google. And okay, we are logged in. Okay, now let's create the network. And this is our network. We clicked on the network and we see these are our settings here. Now, what we want to do is download the software. Click the download button and download the application for Windows. In our case, here's a Windows. We are going to download this one and click on it to install it. Okay, it's installed. Now, let's log in. To log in on zero tier, we need to open zero tier first of all. And then this is our ID. Remember in our dashboard? This is our ID, this is our network ID. This is what we want to copy by clicking here and pasting this ID into zero tier, zero tier application, join network and put the address and join and that's it now this computer is joined to zero tier network but that's not enough what we want to do is allow this computer to be on the network from zero tier zero tier account for that we go into the network scroll down we find our computer and we check here authentication and now, since we authenticated the, my computer, we can check the network on the application and we see this is our IP from zero tier network. Okay, if you copy this IP, you'll see we have this IP here. And let's say this the office computer and let's name it Office PC. And we want to connect to this computer remotely. Now, let's switch the windows. And this is my remote computer. 
so we can join the remote computer to the same network. Okay, let's install this application here as well. And remember, we need to copy and paste the network ID on our remote computer. So here's our network ID, this one. And let's go here. Okay, here's the zero tier. And join the network. And that's it. Now, we have to go into, an, into our account, refresh this page, and allow this remote computer also be on the same network by checking here. And let's do remote PC. Okay, now remote PC has this IP address and our office computer has this IP address. And as you can see, they both are on the same subnet because this subnet mask for this com for this network is slash 16. Where's, here's our subnet, okay? So anything that has 10.242, any host within the same subnet can see each other. Okay, now let's enable the remote desktop on this computer. Go into settings search for remote desktop and make sure this is enabled here okay, in our case it was already enabled now we need to go into remote pc and run application remote desktop type remote find remote desktop connection and now here we want to put the ip zero tier ip in our case this is the ip okay we want to copy this and we want to use it here. And we try connect. As you can see, we have this, you know, username and password prompt. Let's put Peter Parker and our password. Click yes. And now we are connected to our office computer from our remote PC. And that remote PC actually can be anything. It can be Windows computer, it can be uh, iPad, it can be iPhone, Android, you know, pretty much anything that Zero Tier supports. And Zero Tier supports lots of operating systems. You can even connect from the Mac. So this is how you connect two computers through the VPN so you can log into remote computer pretty much for free. You don't have to buy any hardware for this. Now pricing. In terms of the pricing, up to 50 computers, it's free. You can't have more than one username. Pretty good solution. So yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.